All right. Um, well, this is the first time in 2021 that we are sitting down to film Coffee with Bob. This is a pop-up episode, so welcome back, everybody. And uh, Bob, it's good to be back. It's yeah. been some time since we've sat down together. I, so, it has been. Yeah. And I'm excited. You know, we're into the year. We, we're wrapping up 2020 and jumping into 2021 full steam ahead. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're excited about our plans for 2021, excited about how 2020 finished up. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. And um, a lot of um, generational things happened last year that I'm sure we'll all tell our grandchildren about a long time from now about the great pandemic of 2020. But uh, 2021 promises to be a better year, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we're excited about the uh, the markets, the economy, and all the opportunities that are um, developing um, as a result of um, of the pandemic of 2019 and 2020. Absolutely. And so what we wanted to do today is talk about our three biggest takeaways, um, not just uh, from us, but from H&A, from the team as a whole, and kind of talk you know, what, what they mean to us. And I think at the beginning of every year, everyone always looks back on the previous year and takes inventory of the successes of the obstacles and, you know, what to take moving into that next year. So we're going to do that today. Uh, before I do that, we are sipping on some beverages that we are very excited about and from cups that we are very excited about. So we have brand new Coffee with Bob mugs um, that we are drinking from. And we also have some private label coffee that we have officially come out with. And uh, we wanna share it with all of you guys. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Show, that, show us that you subscribed, like us on Facebook and LinkedIn. Send a Coffee with Bob episode to a friend or family member. Show that you did. And we would love to send you some private label coffee. Uh, it's called Bob's Brew. Um, so we would love to send you some private label coffee and a couple of coffee mugs to thank you guys for supporting Coffee with Bob. Um, again, also thank you guys for supporting this. When I think about when we first started this, we were doing this from um, a guest room in your house. Yep. And now mm -hmm. it's you know turned into something that people look forward to. Um, so we're really excited to continue to bring this to you. Let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Our three biggest takeaways from 2020. And um, I'll say the first one, obstacles are opportunity. And I think this can be applied in the way we manage money and it can be applied uh, to life as well. Don't, don't you think so? Yeah, absolutely. And um, I mean, last year there were a lot of obstacles that were presented with and they're still ongoing um, with the pandemic that, um, you know, we all became aware of in January, February, March, it hit mm -hmm. full steam when the country essentially got shut down and um, people stayed home, didn't go to work anymore, and um, <clears throat> except for those who are essential. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a big obstacle. But out of that, look at the opportunities that occurred. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people that are hurt and continue to be hurt. And, you know, if you think of the um, travel industry and restaurants, um, those um, health clubs, you know, those industries continue to be hurt. But on the other side of things, there are some industries that have done very well. Look at Amazon. Look at what's happened with Amazon and home delivery and Giant Eagle home delivery, Whole Foods home delivery, Zoom. We're filming on Zoom right now. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's that stock hit, you know, went up four times in value last year. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of opportunities. And I think some of these are generational shifts. I think what happened last year is we took a, um, we, we made a leap of 10 years inside of seven or eight months. We made a late, uh, we made progress of 10 years inside of seven or eight months. And, um, you know, thank heavens our firm, we've been prepared for working remotely. Uh, we, we have a, you know, um, we have a, a contingency plan in case the worst happens, you know, a nuclear bomb or something like that. We always have those contingency plans in place. So we rolled our contingency plan, our sus sustainability plan out. Um, but it's, th there is just so much opportunity. There will continue to be more opportunity as we, um, as we continue to move forward in this new environment that we're working. I know when I go to, if I go to a restaurant now, I am extra careful, even though I'm healthy, so of course, you know, wearing my mask, 
but I'm, I'm extra careful about how close I am to people, et cetera. So I think there's going to be some generational changes in how we approach things, mm -hmm. even with, um, even when we all get a shot, mm -hmm. you know, we get vaccinated. Um, I, I, it feels like some of these things are permanent in nature and um, that we're going to be doing a lot more ordering and, and, and delivery at home and with all kinds of things yeah. and um, a lot more Zoom meetings, uh, et cetera. And just how we're engaging clients with mm -hmm. Coffee with Bob and yeah. we're doing business. Exactly. We're doing business remotely in ways that we never thought well, we would. And, and that's so true. And you know, back in March when the shutdown first happened or, or April, um, between March and April, at first we were asking ourselves, how are we going to stay in front of people? And that definitely was an obstacle. And from that obstacle, uh, this opportunity of Coffee with Bob was created. From the obstacle of you know volatility in the markets and all the economic hardship that we all have faced. Um, you know, uh, this is a quick plug for the last Coffee with Bob episode from 2020. We actually provided um, added returns relative to the benchmark um, and best performance relative to the benchmark. So it's it's a mindset. I think is at least the biggest thing that I've taken away from it. It's a mindset. When you see obstacles, how can we turn that into opportunity? to grow and become even stronger and better than we were before. Obstacles are always an opportunity for us to become better and stronger. And, um, you know, 2020 was it, you know, I, I, we can attest to that because mm -hmm. of 2020, at least right. for us. So we're very grateful um, for the way we were able to handle the obstacles mm -hmm. that we faced as a team, as a company, um, as asset managers, because it tested our processes and it gave us the opportunity to take a hard look at what we're doing and how can we make it even better. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's it's a really fantastic thing. And mm -hmm. it's absolutely a mindset that we all um, want to adopt and, you know, hold true. Um, okay, second one, second takeaway, cash is king. Now, that might sound a little weird coming from asset managers. And uh, that's not to be confused with you know, our core philosophy, which is there is always a place for investing in the markets. And that's, so I'm not really talking about that when I say cash is king. We're talking about, you know, starting from a place of financial security and stability. And um, a lot of the time that means having that emergency fund, having that nest egg ready to go in case of an emergency. There were so many emergencies that happened last year throughout 2020 because of the pandemic and things kept spiraling and trickling from, from that, um, from the pandemic. Uh, you know, it, starts, it sort of makes you realize and appreciate all over again, the value of saving, um, not just as an individual, but as a business as well, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and really allocating your assets. Mm -hmm. And um, so in a, in a manner that, let you take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. So, um, and um, we, we and now just sort of going on a slightly different tangent, mm -hmm. we, we see that cash is at record levels on um, balance sheets in corporate America, all time highs and adding the cash every day mm -hmm. and on personal balance sheets well, the amount of money saved it and bank accounts in um, sh in money markets and short-term certificates of deposit, those kinds of things, short-term bonds. Cash is at all-time highs. And, um, you know, eventually that cash or, or a lot of it is going to be deployed mm -hmm. in longer-term investments like the stock, stocks, equities, private equity, um, real estate, et cetera, equity-type investments. Um, only because nobody wants to earn zero at the bank. Mm -hmm. And um, when inflation is running at two, three, four percent, whatever inflation is running at. So for cash, cash is going backwards mm -hmm. if it's held in cash deposits. Mm -hmm. So eventually some of that's going to find a home in um, longer term risk assets. That's good for everybody's invested in longer term risk assets now Absolutely. because that new cash coming in will propel prices. Mm -hmm. So um, we again, that's we see a lot of opportunity, mm -hmm. and we see a lot of reason to be optimistic. There's a lot of you know there are some warts out there too, and um, we've had some turmoil in the last year, mm -hmm. politically, um, economically, and socially, obviously. 
Um, so, uh, but we're getting through those. That's the beauty of America. We mm -hmm. find a way to get through those things and, and move forward. Right. And I, that's why I love this country. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, it's so interesting because you and I just spoke to the different sides of cash, right? Mm -hmm. And I completely agree with you, um, you know, in terms of the opportunity that, um, that we foresee in longer term investments because of the amount of cash sitting on the sidelines right now. Um, and then at, at the same time, on the other side of things, I think what 2020 taught a lot of us, especially my generation, I mm -hmm. think, is you wanna be able to operate from a position of some cash so that when you're in a tight spot, you don't have to make an emotional decision. You can sort of, you have that time to ride out a tough wave. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's worth that delayed gratification of saving a little more for the long term, spending a little less, you know, immediately, so that you can always operate. From a position or a not so good decision in a really tough time. Um, okay, third takeaway: nothing in life is guaranteed. Um, you know, I think. We learned this all over again last year. Mm -hmm. A lot of jobs that we thought were no-brainers, a lot of industries that we thought were no-brainers were completely you know, flipped upside down last year. It makes me appreciate this industry all the more. It makes me appreciate this company um, you know, all over again. It makes me appreciate the job that I do, but at the same time, I know that nothing is ever guaranteed. And I think, you know, you don't want to, you know, go about things in a position of fear, but at the same time, I think there's a humility that um, comes with that realization. And, you know, I, I think it's a great starting point when you are deciding, you know, how do I go about my future plans? It's gonna know? continue to. Mm -hmm. uh, technology is going to continue to change the way that we um, live our lives, the way we work, the way we, have fun and, 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 and recreate. Um, we're seeing it happen time and time again that um, you can use technology to engage mm -hmm. people. You can use technology to do things more efficiently, faster, better, accurately. And um, that, that trend is gonna continue to happen. Like I said, we got jump started last year because we had to, right? Mm -hmm. And We've been moving, a, a lot of industries have been moving in the direction of remote work mm -hmm. and using Zoom and doing everything sort of remotely and, and using technology. And now we just sort of got thrown into it. Mm -hmm. And um, for example, we're, we're um, you know, we get annual audits on our, um, on our, uh, from our company from um, LPL Financial, which we welcome and that audit next week is gonna be remote. Mm -hmm. And that it's the first time in 10 years that it's been done remotely and it, they can easily do it remotely. There's no reason for somebody to have to come into the office. So, um, so, I mean, th th so these things are changing and you need to evolve. We, we wanna continue to evolve. We talk about it all the time, about how are we going to evolve? How is our industry evolving? How is society evolving and how, what is our place in mm -hmm. society as individuals, as a company? Um, so we talk about that all the time. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's continued to develop. That's our vision is continuing to develop mm -hmm. and how we're going to service our clients and, um, and, and make, a, make a, a great impact yeah, on society. Absolutely. You know, I, for, me, um, for me to summarize it, the minute you realize that nothing in life is guaranteed is the minute you realize nothing in life is owed to you. And when you can understand that nothing is owed to you, no matter how much talent or knowledge you bring to the table, mm -hmm. you are always trying to think, how can I better myself? How can I continue to bring more value to a client, to a situation, to the company, to a relationship? You're always asking yourself, how can I continue to grow, continue to be better and continue to help, you know, um, uh, offer something better to the people around me in a work or personal environment. And you know that that's how you grow. That's how you continue to grow. So um, those are our three mm -hmm. biggest takeaways. There's many more, but uh, we only have time for three. A lot of learning lessons from 2020, as there always are um, at the end of every year when you sort of take inventory of, of the year. 
and uh, we welcome more lessons. We welcome more obstacles. We welcome more opportunities. We welcome more breakthroughs, and um, we welcome more Coffee with Bob episodes too. We're we're excited to continue to bring this to you guys. Coffee with Bob is moving to once a month live episodes, and in between those episodes, we will continue to bring you pop up episodes. So. Um, the last Wednesday morning of every month at 11 a.m., we will be coming to you live. So stay tuned for the next live episode. And thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great day.